are you? Allison. Bailey. Arusha. Okay, and you have to talk much louder because the, the speaker is all the way over here. Um, and what are you doing today? Um, we're going to test each object. We're going to test each object to... Can you hear her? Yes. Okay, go ahead. To see what? Has what kind of energy? Potential. What kind of energy are you doing? Thermal energy. Okay, so we want to see if it has potential or kinetic thermal energy. So, so the Google Doc people, that's where you should be in the potential or mm -hmm. kinetic. Um, and you can like highlight the correct answer. And that would be an easy way to show the results. Um, and how will we know if it has potential, if it has kinetic energy? It will light up. If it's or potential, if it has it potential burns. thermal energy. If it burns or doesn't burn. Right, okay. So what are we trying? Um, paper. paper. Okay, instead of? A twig. A twig. A twig. What else? A twig of rock. Yep. Um, plastic cup. A plastic cup. Yeah. The it. chalk. Yeah, chalk. What's the chalk? chalk. Okay. All right, I will light. You stand back. Okay, I'm not really sure how. I don't do it. That's oh, definitely you a problem. Push, you push the dial back and you like it. Careful. Push the dial back. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're lighting the candle. We have a candle lit. What, what are some safety things you have going on there? What do you have in that big container? Oh, water. water. Right, you have water so that as each thing lights up, we can just put it in there and add for it. Right, so please use the um, scissors as much as you can since we don't have tweezers. So what's first on the list, Google Doc people? Cross the cup. Okay, the cup. Yep. Yeah. Cool. It's melting. It's melting. Okay, is it lighting? Nope. So it didn't light up, but it definitely melted. Did we, Whoa. does that have thermal energy if it didn't light up and turn to heat? Yeah. No. Oh, that's a really tricky question. Let's just hold this. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just hold this closer. Do you see that? And I'll put it over here, too. So what we got was a melted plastic cup. Does this plastic cup have potential thermal energy? Can we make heat from this cup? No. Did it make heat? No. no. It melted away, but it didn't make heat. Next, what are we doing? Chalk. OK, chalk. What are we, what's our prediction? How many of you think the chalk is going to burn? How many of you think there's no way that chalk is burning? Okay, let's see. It's not burning. It's black. Turn black. Bring, bring that up to the camera. Looks like it's marshmallow. <laughs> It burned. Oh. Okay, not that close. <laughs> See, it burned. Bring it to this camera. It burned. Can you see this one? Put it chalk. Give me this. No, wait, wait. What's next on the list, guys? What's the last one? Wait, paper. Paper. Here, I'll see the little. Paper's going to light up. Yeah. Okay, how many of you think paper has potential thermal energy? That we can get heat from paper? Oh, yeah. Okay. Carefully. Carefully. And there we have a flame. Put it in there. <laughs> That's okay. It's in a metal bucket. <laughs> Great. Have a seat, everybody. Have a seat, everybody.
Okay, that was a little exciting. <laughs> so, so what did the paper have potential thermal energy? Yes. Absolutely, it had potential thermal energy. What about the rock? The rock you're going to have to hold because there's no way those scissors are going to pick it up. It's getting black. It's already black. Okay, pull it out. I'm having issues. Yeah, it's black. Okay, bring it up to the camera so they can see. <laughs> and bring it up to this one. Good. Okay. So, did the rock burn up? Yeah. No. 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 It did not burn up. You cannot take a rock and get heat out of that rock. Thermal energy. Okay. That was the last one. I have a question. Go ahead. We're wondering if you left the plastic cup in the flame for longer, would it start on fire? Well, let's see. Okay, uh, with the t with the tongue slash scissors. Stepping back. Yes. Yes, it's on fire. Everyone should. Oh, the plastic cup is on fire! Look at that. Will you please stop throwing it in there before we get a chance to look at it? We have another one. I will do this so we can actually see it happening. The cup is going to let the paper go on fire. Well, we're going to be very careful because we don't want any accidents. It's not lighting. I'm going to show you guys are all around. Yep, it's lighted. And there we go. We have a lit cup. Stand back. That smells really, really bad. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. Okay, sit down, all of you. No one should be out of their chair to play Okay. I just logged in. Because things are being written again in the Google Doc that so. shouldn't be. Not inappropriate, just incorrect. Just, just funky things. Um, yeah, so just strange things are being are showing up. Uh, what is this? So, is it true? If, yeah, there's like ash blowing around. If plastic is made of oil, would it light up? No. Do we get heat from oil? Yes. How many of you light your homes? I mean, heat up your homes with oil with an oil tank. I do. Absolutely. <laughs> oil. Uh, remember the little problem we had with the the explosion in the Gulf? Yeah. Of the oil tanker. Yeah. Why would it explode if oil wasn't flammable? Plastic is made from petroleum. It's an oil product. It's made from oil. So it burns. And it smells really so, good. Know because the internet connection. You can't so, this Parisi, here's an interesting uh, difference with the two places we live. So it sounds like there's a number of um, yourself and some of your students, your, your homes are heated with oil. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Because none of, none of our houses are heated with oil. Really? None. Zero. Is that, that's I can highlight it. Does anybody know why? Because you. It's hot. It's hot in Nevada. No. No, it's 
It's probably almost as cold here today as it is where you are. Really? We get snow sometimes. Wait, Mr. Crosby. Yes. I'm going to see if I can show you. Okay. Okay, it's really hard to tell because it's very far away, but see all that white outside our window? Yeah. That's snow. That's oh, not yeah. just really light um, sun. That's right. all snow. My house got about 20 inches yesterday. So we don't just get a little bit of snow. We get a lot. We get a blizzard. We get a lot. Of yeah. Yeah. How, about, how about this? If I could uh, point my uh, computer out the window and look up at Mount Rose. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> which is only about 10 miles from here. Uh, two weeks ago. Ago, they got 12 feet of snow wow. in two days. Wow. wow. Six feet a day. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes up there snows eight inches in an hour. Wow. Do people live up there though? So, so um, I want to go back to why we don't burn oil for heat, and that's because in the West we have a lot of mountains. So we get a lot of hydroelectric power. Uh, so we tend to use electricity. What's hydroelectric power? Water electricity. Water electricity. Water electricity. Water electricity. Water electricity. So we, have, we do have a oil-fired power plant. And they also burn uh, other things. But that's unusual in the West. Um, almost all the power comes from hydroelectric dams and, uh, and we... Um, we tend to move it around the west coast from places where there's a lot of rivers and we have lots of uh, lines that take the electricity all over the place. Like there's big uh, high tension lines that go from Reno 400 miles all the way down to Las Vegas. And then Las Vegas yeah. is very close to Hoover Dam, which Dam. Is, yeah. must have some of the biggest hydroelectric generators in the world. Yeah, we don't have anything like that here. We we heat our homes with oil or um, coal because the coal is what runs our electric plants. Um, and and the coal, yeah, the coal comes right from Pennsylvania. They top the mountains now and destroy the mountains to get the coal that's inside. Right. 